and welcome to The Wedding Show, our weekly chat show all about weddings. To get involved in the conversation, simply leave a comment or questions in the comment section below. This show is brought to you in association with My Wedding Store. My Wedding Store, in case you didn't know, is a one-stop shop for all your wedding needs. For more information, check out myweddingstore.ie, incorporating retail, hire, and wedding services. If you'd like to sponsor an episode, then please get in touch. Or if you'd like to sponsor a prize, a giveaway, then of course let us know privately, and we'll organize that also. This week's episode is all about wedding videography, and we have three professional videographers here with us tonight. We have Caroline Minchal from Pink Line Productions. Did I say that right? Yeah. Minchal, yeah. And we have Michael Frain of Frame Wedding Videography. And of course, we have our resident video expert and chief, Michael O'Dullivan, otherwise known as Michael D. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's the new name. Known, okay. I thought that's easier, because we have Michael F and Michael D. Okay, so yeah, we, we'll nice go with that, okay? Yeah. Hi, guys. How are you? Nice to see you again. Um, running the show behind the scenes is our new executive producer, Brian McDermott. How are you, Brian? Tired. 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 Good. <laughs> okay, this show is being produced live, but if you happen to miss any bits, you'll be able to watch it back on the myweddingstore.ie YouTube channel. Simply search for myweddingstore.ie and you'll find the channel. We have all the uh, previous episodes up there as well, so there's loads of viewing up there for all your time. I think we'll go straight into it, guys. Um, we'll probably uh, go to uh, Facebook to the comments every, we we'll say, 10, 15 minutes. So please, if you have any comments or any questions, please start putting them in, and Michael will be coming to them at some point during the show. So we'll start off with uh, one thing we we'll say, I'm a photographer by trade, and videographers will say, we kind of work together a lot in all the weddings. We won't fight, Mick. We won't fight. Um, <laughs> but I'll have a question to start with, Richard. Wherever you're going with this, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a photographer I... by trade. It's three of us, three against one. Three I know. One. <laughs> Actually, this might have been a good idea. Um, is, is there different styles or different types of videography? We'll say, like, talk me through the different styles of wedding videography. Anybody Who wants to take that, take that one? <laughs> That's a loaded topic. There is, there is definitely, definitely different styles. Definitely, okay. absolutely. There's your kind of old style, you know. There's, you know, there's hand, there's camcorders, and they're, that are quite big, and you're going out, mm. and, and it's wide, and you know, you're using one lens for the whole day, and then there's okay. uh, more modern. Yeah. And then there's really modern, like there's kind of music video styles that are heavily filtered with filters and stuff like that as well. Okay. Um, which kind of puts a different color and hue across the video. So would, would couples, like if couples are looking at wedding video and a whole lot would say like, and they are hearing certain words to describe those styles, like what way would you describe those? So like, uh, you know, because like a videographer, like say Michael would say, how would you describe your style of videography? My style would be, um, I suppose it'd be classical, classic yeah. uh, uh, videography. A lot of people call it traditional, mm -hmm. um, where um, you will have, I, I'll document the whole day from start to finish. Um, I don't, uh, uh, I, I, there's no, it's set to some music, mm -hmm. but you get roughly somewhere between, yeah, your finished product is somewhere between an hour and a half and you know, say an hour and 40. Okay. A lot of the newer styles would be coming in and they would be maybe 15, 20 minutes and they would document the whole day, edit it heavily uh, and, and bo bottle and that down. Compress it down, down compress into, it yeah, down kind of highlight into, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Would you agree with that, Caroline? Is that yeah, kind of they would. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they can, some people, some videographers offer, you know, the speeches as a separate file, because yeah. that's what elongates your video, really. You know, if you have mm -hmm. a speech, it's half an hour, cool. But if sometimes they go on to an hour, an hour and 15, and that does elongate your movie. It really does. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of handy to put that into a separate file, you know, and let people, that's, I think, what they're doing when they're compressing it down to 15, 20 minutes. You know, the speeches yeah. are separate yeah. and the dancing is separate, because if you're dancing for 15 minutes, some people just take the best bits, but I, some people put in all, all I of think it. There's two, there's two schools of thought at the moment um, in that a lot of couples getting married possibly would want the contemporary style video now, but in 20 or 30 years' time, mm -hmm. they'd look for the more traditional style with yeah. tons and tons of content. So... You have to find a happy balance between that, I think. I so, totally agree with you there. Yeah. I, I think you're 100% there in that, you know, as the years go on, you will you forget what, what, did, what did my father say at, at my wedding? What did my, you know, what did, what did my best man say? What, what mess did he make of it or whatever, you know? So, yeah, there's, 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 there is the argument for kind of the, 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 the cinematic or sexy shots yeah. uh, versus the, 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 the longevity of the... And the thing is, the, we, we the, won't the, know... We won't know people's opinions for 20 years. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, one of the things, I don't know if you do, but I, I mean, I convert the old videotapes to DVD. Yeah. Still, yeah. yeah and, and, but they're the 
three hour epics. Mm. Be- you know, because oh. the videographers back in the 90s or the early 2000s were staying on for yeah. the full dancing, yeah. Yeah. which was great. Yeah. And it's great to see people dancing for an hour long. Do you know what I mean? But these days, that might not always be the case. And I would wonder, will it go back to that in 20 years' time where people will say, maybe I should have had Michael or Caroline stay on for that extra hour and got more of the dancing? You could be right. I, I, I honestly don't know. So, so we say, if you were to put it, though, in, in, in terms that the, we say the brides and grooms out there will understand, we'll say, so we're like we're talking kind of classic would be kind of a lot of content. So it'll be kind of traditional, your full day, we'll yeah. say, whereas... Contemporary is kind of more compressed. It's literally the highlights. Would you call it that, or it, it would be a, it would be a, 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 a longer version of your highlights. Okay. Yeah, and different videographers offer different packages and different. Yeah. You know, see, it's it's down to you to ask a videographer what do you get at the what end. Style? You know, yeah. Don't don't get a don't be in for any surprises. You know, find out what exactly you're. They should be kind of find that out. We say when they're booking their videographer yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, send out the packages and yeah. Different, you offer different things, you know. Like some people charge extra for those twenty-minute edits because there's a lot more work in them. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you've got to factor that in, you know. Mm-hmm. But then if someone's booking you based on what they've seen with their best friend, and it's like an hour and a half, and it's a really nicely edited, nice flowing film mm-hmm. of your day, and it's an hour and a half, you can't go and give them then something else, you know. They want what yeah, they've already seen, so. Mm-hmm. Unless you let them know in advance. The same Unless thing, you give them yeah. the option. The same thing yeah. goes for, for the actual ceremony itself. One of the things we offer couples is if they want the full ceremony as opposed to, as we call it, the best bits. Yeah. Yeah. Which is everything involved in with their family except the priest, gospel, the sermon and communion. What about the hymns? I leave in the hymns. All of the hymns. It would depend... Um, it would depend. I mean, we might. It could be a. a it, it would. It could be. It could be a case where the sister of the bride is singing. Yeah. Which I had a. Oh yeah, yeah. If it's family singing, yes. Yeah. You have yeah. to keep it. But yeah, they, yeah, yeah. But some of you've this person to go up and sing. So you know, it's part. It's part of the day. So our job, any videographer's job, is to capture the day. In, in totality yeah. is my see my, my worry is we'll say like uh, we'll say for the videographers that are literally capturing the highlights of the day and the whole lot that if a bride does come back and saying I'm I, you know well, where's my you know where's my my where's the cousin singing or where's the mother yeah you know they don't have the content they don't have it. so mm-hmm. I think that's something that we we'll say couples do need to kind of look at when they are looking at the packages when they're looking at the video what find out what you're getting you know, yeah, from exactly. that perspective, what's your finished you know? product? What's your finished product? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I suppose we we'll say one word that I always hear we we'll say uh, is like you have videographers and you have cinematographers. Mm-hmm. Is there much difference between them? Um, my understanding is that, and this is only my own thoughts, is it's the same. It's the, it's same, the same job thing, really, that yeah. you're doing at the end of the day. It's yeah. up to the person. It's what they call themselves, whether they call themselves a videographer, yeah. a video man, filmmaker. a video filmmaker, a, yeah. a, a video person, or a cinematographer. It's the same job the same you're thing. doing. Exactly. You're going yeah. out there yeah. to film a person's day. You are, but it comes down to the tools you're using yeah. to film that day. Do you know what I mean? It does come down to the tools and the lenses. Like, are you using a camera where you're changing all the lenses? Are you pulling focus? Are you doing. Mm-hmm. You haven't really shot a depth of field? Are you shooting so a kind of cinematic or, style, as in like yeah. what people see in the movies, that but, kind of thing? Yeah. But, but, but you can call a, a wedding video an edit, an edit, a cinematic edit then as well, mm-hmm. which is what we were talking about a couple of minutes ago. Um, that would come into yes, it as well. Then. A cinematic edit can be, you know, it can be non chronological and, yeah. you know, so broken it's up. really broken yeah. up and it's yeah. flashback forward and back throughout the day. Yeah. You know, yeah. as opposed to a documentary edit, which is, you know, which might be one thing after the straight, other. Straight, you yeah. know, yeah. from you get up in the morning and there you're finishing your dancing and it's all linear the whole day. And is, is that kind of what people are looking for? That kind of. I know, think no, they're looking or... for different things. Well, I think it depends on the person. It really does. And I think the, per- the, yeah. the, the bride and groom has to has to decide as to what what exactly they want. Do they yeah. want this yeah. fifteen or twenty minutes uh, um, mm. highly movie. edited movie, <laughs> so or do they want the the, yeah. the full day, the, the, the whole day? It's it's really yeah. up to the bride and grooms themselves. It is mm-hmm. absolutely, yeah. But it goes back to my point: Will they still want that in twenty, in 20 years, years' time? time. Yeah. I, I mean, think I remember, they will. I, I remember think they you, will. you look at some of the, the videos that I convert now, and you have lads going around with microphones. Yeah. Say something to the bride and groom. Yeah. Right. <laughs> guest messages. You know, guest messages. Can't be the good guest. Or, or I've seen. I've <laughs> seen guys. That does that now. I've seen <laughs> guys. I think there's a machine that does that now. Talking to someone off there camera. So who are you? How do you know the bride and groom? And then the bride and groom talks to. 
or, or the guest talks to the camera. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, and again, it, it, it's lovely. It's lovely yeah. to see it. It is. Well, that's, that's kind of, that, that's my end of things. I would, I would be very traditional in that sense. I would, I'm always thinking of, uh, you know, what, what, what will the bride want or what would the groom want in 15 or 20 years time? Yeah. Because I'm 20, what, 21 years married now. And it's both my parents are dead, and it's nice to be able to look back and yeah. see what oh, they said on the day, how Absolutely. how my mother was dressed, and put put the shoe on the other foot in you know for for the, the prospective yeah. bride and groom. I think that's what they will be looking. But for. I think that's what we need to kind of point out about videography is and, and wedding videography or cinematography, whichever, yeah. is that it's so important. Like you know, a lot of people are kind of some people don't go for it, but if you think right, you know, your past relatives and somebody comes to you and say right, I've got some. I've got some photographs and I've got some video of your yeah. past relatives who are gone. Say your great your grandparents. Which do you want to see? Mm. And an mm. awful lot of people. Sorry, if if your answer, <laughs> no. But well, I, I have an answer to that too. Though, is don't worry. Hundred percent. They have yeah. to have photography. But everyone thinks, oh, we don't really need video. Yeah. yeah. But but if your answer when you're asked that question is, oh, I'd love to see video of Granny Granddad getting mm. married, or, or then doing, you have or to or get a video. Or the dance floor. Or waltzing yeah, around the dance floor. Yeah. yeah. Or the bride dancing with her granddad. Or the groom dancing with his grandmother. I think the groom dancing with his mother even is gorgeous. Yeah. The one thing we say, I think that we say we always say with photography that we're saying it's it's for your the next generation, so it's for the kids and all that. Whereas video, I think, is for you for for remembering, we we'll say those that have passed on and all that no, in time. You know, I disagree. that it's. I, disagree. I, I think we we'll say if you're if you're showing that video to the kids, if you know if they haven't never met their grandparents or you know that they've passed away and all that, I think it's lovely. But I think from the photography point of view, it's more about the next generation as well that you're showing your grandkids. This is what, when we got married and all that. Do you guys get the same aspect with video in regards to trying to explain to them like this is granddad and. Grand, but grand but photography is 100% you have to have photographs mm. of your wedding day professionally taken by a professional not mm -hmm. by Uncle John but they go on the wall and they go on your album yeah. and you know they're hundred percent. You have to have them, you know. But the video is, has become so accessible now. Yeah, yeah. Like back in the eighties, you had to get everyone around the the couch. Right, <laughs> yeah. the wedding video has yeah. come in. It's three yeah. hours. One, one, out of, one out of ten houses had a had a VCR. Exactly, <laughs> you know. But now it's so accessible. You know, it's really yeah. it's on your it's iPhone, on your, your iPad, yeah. and you can just you might meet your auntie in the shop. You know, queuing up in Tesco for your food, and you go, mm. you missed my wedding, but look, I'll show you this. Sure, we're going to be waiting your ages <laughs> yeah. anyway. Do you know, but you can do if that. If you didn't now, invite her, that could be awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, or anyone, what, what, an old friend that you bump into, and they're like, "Oh, I'd love to see." Let, let's examine that. We we'll say, okay, well, like, what, what do you say to people who say they don't want a video? You know that, oh, we can get Uncle Uncle John to do it or whatever. Don't like, get Uncle John to do it. Well, don't get Uncle exactly, John. You know, or it's, Uncle Fred, it's, or, or Uncle Fred, or, Ted. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle Michael, or get Uncle <laughs> or Auntie Caroline. Get Auntie Caroline. Yeah. No, <laughs> or Uncle Michael, just, or Uncle just Michael. Just to pick up on Uncle John, Uncle, you're putting you're putting an awful lot of pressure, pressure on Uncle John. Them. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, who's yeah. going to edit it afterwards? Exactly. He's gonna he's gonna freak out the priest because he might stand in the right. Place. Yeah, he'd yeah. be all over the place. He might move um, when he's not supposed to move, mm. and he and he yeah. certainly certainly won't have um, uh, proper audio equipment. No, no. Yeah. so that, that's actually key. Audio and he's yeah. not important. going to have the knowledge as to where he should be at any given time. Exactly, like yeah. we, we all know that the you know let it be a, a Church of Ireland wedding or let yeah. it be a civil wedding or a, a Catholic wedding. We all know that the process that it goes through, you know, one thing after the other of what, if, what's If the priest forgets to light so, the candles, you're like, well, well yeah, there's something missing here. You know exactly yeah. what's you know. wrong, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, un yeah. Uncle John or Uncle, they're not going to know that. No. Yeah, but it is, you know, it's so the pressure it's that you're putting on them as well. And I do have, I do know people who know they don't get the product at the end because Uncle John's like, mm. Jesus, I just have to do something with this. Oh. Yeah. And they just never get around to it and it's pressure on them. Yeah. But like I, I, I nice. would say as a photographer, I'm always trying to encourage um, brides and, and couples to, to kind of to, to get video yeah. for the wedding as well. Because I always say to them, look, you know, I'm capturing the moments today, but you need the in-between moments as well mm. as those moments. And the video can do that, you know. Yeah. Um, so like we say, if you if I'm trying to convince a bride and groom about videography, we'll say like, what, you know, how can we, how can you basically pitch that to couples kind of saying look you why you should have video it's so powerful mm. it's so powerful and it, it can be so emotional video mm. is just so emotional when it's done professionally and edited professionally and tastefully you know i think it can be just so powerful I think and so emotional coming the, you, you, i made well i mentioned my parents were gone but coming from it's an awful it's, it's, a, it's a morbid way of thinking of it but yes mm. nobody lasts forever yeah so yeah you would try and express that put that across them that you know Look, at the, but the none of us are going to be around forever, and it That's is nice thing. in twenty yeah. years' time to look back yeah. and see, you know, various yeah. different people, neighbours, and whatever. You back, know? Yeah, back in absolutely. back in nineteen sixty eight, when I'm, you got married. No. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's going to kill you. 
I'm only joking. That was, that was the first marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back in 1968, uh, an uncle of mine had an old cine reel uh, mm -hmm. camera. Okay. So he shot some footage of my mum and dad's wedding. Oh, Sometime in the 90s, somebody put it on VHS. Sometime in early 2000s, I got hold of it, put it on DVD. And in the last few years, I managed to get it up on YouTube. So now Very it's good. on YouTube. And There's two, oh, two and a half fantastic. minutes yeah. of my oh, parents brilliant. getting... Now, it's in black and white. It's shaky. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, you know but yeah, it's there. Yeah. 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 It's, it's precious. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's precious to you. Yeah. It's precious to yeah. you. Yeah. 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 What? Shaky camera. Not steadier than you. I suppose we should kind of tackle that that as well in regards to kind of, you know, these videos are precious. Like it's different with photographs that you can make copy and copy and copy. With video, would we'll say like what kind of the finished product? How are they receiving it these days? Like we we'll say, it used to be the old VHS tape, but now that's it's one kind of the DVD. questions that has come in there. Oh, brilliant! Okay. Yeah. How, how, actually, how do go we... to, actually, yes, we go to social media, Vic. Uh, okay. What question have we got? All right. Okay. Just to give a few shout outs first of all. Um, Mark is watching. Hey. Hi, husband. <laughs> Hi, husband. He says, hello, wifey. Looking good. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Michal Feely joined in. Jordan Connor, big shout out to them. Ailish oh, is watching. Hi, Ailish. Um, Martina Cunningham Small is watching. Alan Hi, McCarthy. Uh, Ronnie Dignan. Mm -hmm. And Keith Malone as well. Hi to all oh, of those. Keith. It was Alan McCarthy actually asked the question, can we discuss media delivery on DVD versus USB versus MediaZilla, etc. Yes, thanks, So that's Adam, where we're actually. just going to yes, start I, yeah. discussing yes, so, them. Yeah, we were just saying, like, you were saying about converting that old tape to YouTube and the whole lot. Yeah. Is that the way we're seeing wedding videos kind of go in that, mm -hmm. kind of putting them up in the cloud, or is it still kind of DVDs and, and tapes? Or no, you're taking that. No, you're taking that. Well, it, it, it moved from, we'll say, v, v, close to microphone it as moved well. from VHS to, um, to DVD was the next, yeah. the next step. Yeah, in the space of a summer. Uh, yeah. Um, it has now moved on to, um, to USB delivery and okay. also, um, um, f f is it file? Media Zilla. Media Zilla, yeah. Media Zilla, okay. Um, that's, that's where the, 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 you hand the bride and groom a finished product on a, on a small little it's, USB yeah. flash drive, uh, about 32 gig or that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, the, the, the Media Zilla is where um, you, you, the, the videographer uploads it to a site um, and the person, the user at the other end, downloads it. Mm -hmm. They can do what they want with it after That's that. It, yeah. then, uh, yeah. they can, or they can watch it online. They can watch it or online. Or their family can watch they it They can um, uh, save it onto their hard drive. They can burn it onto a DVD. Yeah. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. yeah. So it it's, copies it's, as many times as they like. It's copies yeah. as many times as they like. So that, that's where it's big. gone at the moment. Okay. Um, in years to come, God only knows where it's going to go. We'll have little chips yeah. in our head and we'll be able to relive it in our head, you know. But yeah, that's, that's, that's obviously where it's gone now at the moment, you know. Okay. What about Caroline? What about you? How do you deliver your product at the moment? USB, USB, USB. nice branded box. You know, I mean, it's it's still small. You're kind mm. of giving it going. Well, you know, you're not yeah. as big as a DVD. But I am trying to encourage people to what move away from what DVDs. What about the parents then? Do you? I do copies for the parents because right. I know the mums and daddies. Not everyone is up to speed. No. You know, yeah, yeah, like um, exactly. So I, 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 like I'm the same. Do you? Yeah, I'm, I'm still, still. You haven't started. Have you started? Mediazilla yet? No, yeah. no, we haven't. I've, I've looked at it, but I haven't, like, I haven't have pulled Media the trigger Zilla. yet on it. I, I, I think we'll say, search the, 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 the we biggest will, problem is like, you're uploading 32 gig. It's a lot of data. That's not 32. So, you're not up, no, it's no, not no, it's not. No, it's you compress it. Oh, you can compress it. Unless you export it at full res, you could be talking 24 gig. Okay. Well, actually, let's touch on that in regards to kind of the resolution a whole lot. We say there's this big push, we say, with TVs and a whole lot, 4K and all this kind of stuff and all is it kind of a stage of are we are we at 4K yet in regards to wedding videos? Like, do people kind of go, I need it in 4K? You know, or is it still? I don't think so. High definition. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. It's, it's it's a capacity as well. I suppose like for 4K, a 4K wedding video would be how big? But you need a TV that can show that. Plus, you need a you need a savage computer to to, to, to run it. Edit yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the files, um, are the files would yeah. be Rock, massive. Yeah. It wouldn't fit on a USB stick, I would, I would assume. Yeah. So, so most, most wedding videos are, in, are, are based in high definition. High TV, definition, the yeah. Your yeah. USB stick will have yeah. the high definition. Yeah. A, yeah. DV, yeah, high a DVD definition, yeah. is, is compressed. It's standard yeah. definition. Yeah. It's standard it's definition. definition. Most yeah. weddings are shot yeah. on HD. Yeah. yeah. But they're compressed, delivered. compressed to standards. Yeah. But that's the if problem with DVD, because they're compressed down to standards. Yeah, if you're delivering on DVD, it's compressed. USB is a nice way to deliver. You never went down the road of Blu-ray? 
No, I never did that. Never no, off. I never bothered. Never took off. I have a stack no. of Blu-ray discs at home. I was never asked once for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blu-ray no, never, Blu-ray Blu-ray never, never took, took off. off. Yeah. I think I think the jump between standard, uh, say the the the, the square televisions four three. Uh, when 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 RT decided to uh, stop uh, broadcasting uh, uh, on the analog, I think everybody jumped to the to the widescreen TVs, and mm-hmm. once they'd done that, they were outlaying say I don't know four or five six hundred euro for for a widescreen TV. Mm-hmm. There was they're not going to change that TV again to buy no, a Blu- no, exactly. to buy something that's going to show to to show Blu-ray or yeah. you know it, it it's too big of a step for them to take yeah. you know exactly so. yeah I know what you mean um, I suppose we'll say in 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 kind of in your opinion guys like what aspects of the day do couples need a video for do they need a video for the whole day do they need for so only for certain sections like what what is the current trend. It's absolutely down to the couple. It's down to the couple. Okay. You, mean, you get some, some people saying, actually, we just want sermon. It's like, well, yeah. don't. Is this always coming down more to budget then? You can't do your job, really, if it's just... I'm it not sure that budget. it's budget. Uh, budget comes into it, but I'm not sure that it, it comes... It's not always budget. budget. It's not always yeah. budget. It could no. be, like Caroline said, that they don't want a video. Yeah. yeah. Now, we do offer, we offer the full-day package and the half-day package. Yeah. Okay. Um, like you can go from church to speeches that's quite no I don't do that you don't no I do an hour before an hour during and an hour after the ceremony at the one ceremony venue okay and that's uh, so in other words there's a start a middle and an end so as the bride and groom or the bride and bride or groom and groom yeah. are driving out of the driveway of the venue waving oh, out I the back you, window yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, video yeah, ends yeah, yeah. That's and that's a natural end to the, video. the next okay. the next natural end to a video as far as I'm concerned is the first dance yeah and a natural start is an hour before the ceremony at the ceremony venue or two hours before the ceremony mm-hmm. at the bride's departure venue. Mm-hmm. But generally what people are going for is they want the bridal prep, sometimes yeah. groom prep as well. So bridal prep right through to the first dance and about three songs of the band. That's Pretty much, yeah. 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 That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's, yeah. that's the so norm the at the moment. moment. The days of staying like for the dancing and the whole lot is, is pretty much gone as well. We discourage well. that because it's just... Yeah, I, I don't like doing it. No. See, some people would, would ask. Some people you. would ask. Some people yeah. would ask. Some people do. So yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. yeah. Um, but I just find people hate being filmed. They don't like being filmed. But <laughs> they've done properly. You're not going to see the, the, the video. video or them. <laughs> it's it's like the photographer as well at a concert where they get three songs to get the pictures of the band. You know, you might get away so if get. if the room is dark. You might get away with a light, banging it up off a ceiling, yeah. getting a bit of extra light in the room mm. for three songs. After that, you really have to, you know, sometimes bands struggle, sometimes from an atmosphere, yeah. you have to get rid of the light. Yeah, you, you know, do. You know, whether it be off the cam or, or, or the big light, definitely, you definitely got to get rid of it. Or it could be a case of, you know, nobody's dancing and you want to try yes, and help exactly. the band out. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're thinking maybe it's the light. Nine times out of ten or eight times out of ten, it's probably not. But... And it's not the band either. Mm. Maybe the band started earlier than anticipated. Maybe they're just not a dancing crowd. Yeah. Do you know what exactly. I mean? Maybe not everybody's in the room. Yeah. You know, there's I a yeah. package where I, where I actually stay on to the end of the band. Um, it's a long night, oh, but it, yeah. I, I, I charge a little bit of extra for it. Mm. But You'd yeah, have it's, to, it's, yeah, it's it's um, it's most most couples go for first finish a first dance. Yeah. You know, it's it's it, it's as as Mick's saying, it's a natural it's a natural finish. Yeah. You know, the first dance or a couple of songs after that, so you get a little bit of the atmosphere. Uh, whatever is in the room. Or not. Have you done? Have you done anybody doing the archway recently or anything oh, like that? I have actually. Yeah. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> at the archway a couple of weeks ago. Oh, God. I haven't yeah. done one of those in long. Yeah. You know, ar- everybody cute. Uh, the band oh, get the yes. couple up to this. I remember now. Yeah. You know, it, it was Everyone fun. This yeah. It was fun, through. but you get your arse pinched. <laughs> you know, you get. You yeah. know, yeah, love it, Victor. Yeah. The garter, the garter is practically gone now. Yeah, the garter. Right, we still throw the bouquet. Yeah, yeah the bouquet is still, yeah, there, yeah, still there, but the garter is, is I would agree with that, it's almost yeah. gone. It's, it's, it's almost, almost gone. gone, yeah. And it's cringe, some of it can be cringy too. Oh, yeah. horrendous, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we'll say, from, from a photography perspective, like, all I have to worry about is, is kind of, is lighting and kind of exposure and all that. Whereas with you guys, you have to worry about sound, sound and lighting. Yeah. And I, I, for lighting, I, I can use a flash, so yeah. I'm safe. But you guys, you need the light, you need... In and certain circumstances, you do. Yeah. A certain amount of light. I'm yeah. not not looking for a couple of thousand watt bulbs uh, shining right directly down yeah. at somebody. A small little ambient li- bit of ambient light, and I'm fine with coloured lights as well. So long as so long as I have a small bit of white light in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Coloured lights on their own are a killer. Do you know you get the because the, everybody the goes green, green and, then and, they go and red, blue and yeah, then they go red, yeah. and, and there and some some of the, some of the lights that the bands have, um, where the, the yellow light looks great on camera. 
but then it goes blue and green and, yeah, and yeah. it's so dark and it's so difficult yeah, to work with it. Do you yeah. find that? Yeah, but I think, you know, I just use a small yeah, LED I, and a prime yeah, lens yeah. So, and I'm kind of quite close so they're not really seeing me moving around. Mm. But I think, you know, with the band, if the light is changing colour like that, you know, that's the night, that's what's happening. That's what's that's happening, yeah, yeah and light. you have to deal with it. And you have to go with it. Yeah. And like, there's no point trying to colour correct that and change no, it no, and no. make it all... You know, if, if, if your exposure's okay, I think you're good to go. With so if they're skin. walking into purple, everybody's <clears throat> purple? Yeah, but like, if the light changes then. Oh, you have to have your light to get skin tone. You have to yeah. get your skin tone, like, you know, but, um, yeah, but if like, it's all purple, it's not nice. But I thought you were talking about, you know, if it's... Changing light. Changing yeah, 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 yeah. Like, how, light how, how do you guys tackle in regards to, like, uh, some venues, they, they love everything in darkness. They love kind of... Candle well, light kind of, in, like, you know, so, and, and that's why you kind of have to bring the lights. Yeah, a little bit a soft of light, yeah. ambient light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very, very seldom would you point yeah. a light on the dance floor. <clears> very <throat> seldom. You know, always bounce it off the ceiling yeah, or exactly. something, or the wall behind you. Yeah. We oh, we have started using a light on the floor um, to kind of give a nice bulky feeling, and you get the, you know. Mm. Um, it, it's just creating nice little lens flares around the couple, yeah. Yeah. which is really nice. Which, yeah, it, it works very well. Like for, because yeah. it actually looks like a band. I sometimes, I sometimes bring like my disco going. lights and stick them. <laughs> <laughs> double the, yeah, double yeah, the yeah, advantage. Yeah. Yeah, you know, exactly. the, 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 ch the colour changes. Because, because a lot of the band's anybody. lights will only, they'll have them turned in on themselves. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so. yeah, yeah, well, exactly. That's why yeah. we just put it out so it's, it's mm. and then a smaller one on them as well well going back to something that, that you said er, er, earlier mm -hmm. Richard about you know why wouldn't a, a, a bride and groom or, or a bride and bride or whatever have a video I think that's partially one of the reasons why because they feel that uh, they don't want uh, a videographer a videographer following them around all yeah. through the day plus the lights and the lights is a throwback to the early 80s yes, you know when yes. you had when these you didn't have the light, thousand yeah. watt yeah. bulbs yeah. shining yeah. right down and yeah. the cameras weren't weren't able to they're not like that anymore they're not like no. that anymore no, exactly. the cameras have technology has come on so much that mm. you practically need very little light now you know yeah. small you, uh, anybody that says they don't need light I'd be a little bit dubious of it. You yeah. do need light. Do I'm always light. honest yeah. with people and say light. that you do need a well, certain you could, you amount. It just looks more professional. Yeah. It's yeah. nicer. And, and you, know. you could have people in the wrong position for the light. The light could be behind them. Or, do you know what I mean? So you, there is times we need yeah. light. And it, need it's, light, look, yeah. it's the same for photography. There's certain times where we have to use flash. The filling yeah. flash, you know? yeah. So there's, yeah. there's kind of no problem with that. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose, kind of going back to, say, like a couple come to meet you guys and they're, they're thinking of booking you. What questions do you think that they should be asking you? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they're always going to ask you how much you are, but... You know, is there other questions that kind of you think couples should be asking you? It's a good. That's a good question <laughs> in itself. Um, I suppose sound is something that 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 people rarely think about. You know, and mm. sound is equally as important as I'd as, say fifty-one percent. Yeah, of a good video is the is audio. Sound, yeah. yeah. And, and very few people will ask the question, how are you capturing your sound from the various different locations, say in the church, would say if the, the hymns are being sung, are they being captured? Uh, how are they being captured? The vows, um, you know, there's, there's various bits Speeches. of technology now that you can put on, yep. uh, lapel microphones, so recorders. Yeah. Uh, there's all types of things, uh, yeah. technologies out there now that can be used to enhance the sound. And that's a question that's rarely asked yeah that's actually quite good you know, I, I kind of agree with that because like the one thing the whole this whole show is about educating couples because mm -hmm. they've never been married before so like it's questions like that that they should be asking um, I suppose we say we were saying about the finished product as well they should be asking about how they're going to receive their their, their wedding video um, how, how long will it be how long it will be as well yeah, I personally so personally and I don't know would it ever come about some of them do most of them don't I would dearly love to mic up the priest I do. I up the priests. All of them? I would say 50%. Just say that nice would and close you? to yeah. the microphone because I think that came out wrong. But you, you mic up the priest. Okay. I mic up the priest. Mic up the priest. Good. Okay. I've just started started trying. But it does depend on the priest. Yeah, you know, I had a priest absolutely. last weekend. There was no way that you'd yeah. be able to mic him up because he was the number one with him. He was like, when I met him, number one rule, you're not allowed on the red carpet. That's the same thing I was just going to say. I was yeah. I met a fella last year and he wouldn't let me yeah. on the red carpet. Yeah, and, and the red carpet being the, where the, the altar, altar was. The whole altar. Yeah. But like, in, uh, oh, that was the worst ever. Like he just literally, we were not allowed, myself and Fergal mm. McGrath. And we just went It was in Donegal, was wasn't like, it, somewhere? Yeah. It's it very awkward. Where, no, it won't say where. But, very awkward. Um, yeah, but the, in that case, you know, but I think generally priests... You know, some of them are really sound and really yeah. cool, and they're mm. like, "Yeah, I don't mind wearing your mic." And then, but you just have to say to them, "Well, you know, it's not going to affect your mics. It's not going to, 
interfere with your mics because the, mm. they're just worried that it's going to interfere and send a feedback through feedback the through, yeah I saw that actually recently somebody was saying about t- uh, taping the zooms onto the speakers and the whole yeah. lot and the yeah. priests are complaining about that and all this kind of stuff and but if you can mic the priest that's the best you oh, know? Oh. what's it's the difference the in Caroline between then, mic and the priest and putting the, putting the mic on the speaker Oh, the, the mic the sound through the speaker can sometimes just be very muffled and sometimes on the spe- sometimes in nice. the speakers you have the air a little bit of a hum. Yeah, that's yeah. the air running yeah, yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some no. of the speakers are really old. In some churches, like you yeah. can't depend on that. Like yeah, you can't yeah. depend that I'll get to the church and put it on thing because it's we, too high mm-hmm. or too old and crackly. So we had the experience during the source. summer where um, on a traditional altar you have the altar in the centre and you have an ambo where they do the readings mm-hmm. and the prayers of the faithful. But lo and behold, there's another. You just have to have Ambo over to have here as well, and it was two weddings in a row. Yeah. You know, the priest goes off to this one. Now the <laughs> second one we had mic'd it up. Yeah. We, you know, yeah. just yeah. in case. Exactly. And, case. And I was like, yeah, yeah gotcha. <laughs> so. You know, but the first one we were caught out, but we had yeah. it mic'd up on the speaker, on the so we had yeah. to resort to the speaker mic. Right, so yeah. we had, yeah. We had it. Oh no, had yeah. we like used seven. We we used set, up to seven, past, seven different mic mic sources. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we won't give out about any more about priests or anything, right? But I think yeah, because they're on the show next week. They're on the show. Jerry Duffy, hi to Jerry. Good show. Uh, some some hey, terrific details for couples to pick up on. Um, every year, he says, since started wedding videos in 1979, the numbers have remained the same, and he has met more couples who regretted not having a video yeah. than those who had a video. There was a survey done in the UK a number of years ago where where 90% of brides who didn't get a video actually regretted it. Well, it was, yeah. it was, it mm-hmm. went was online that last year. Do. That was Remember the survey last year? Oh, that's right. Yeah. And they were yeah. saying the largest increase was say, or the, the largest regret by a lot of couples was that they didn't have video. Mm. So I, I think it's one thing, like I'm always pushing for video for couples, like, you know, to have video and the whole lot. I suppose one thing we we're saying about photographers and videographers would say, one question that I have here, I think, I'm think i awful sure that Mick actually put this in, but uh, should videographers have or need more control on the day than the photographer? Opinions now, nice personal opinions now, don't uh, touch your subject. Well, yeah. I think where they need equal time is on the photo shoot. Agreed. Because yeah. the photo shoot is where you can be really creative and you just need those few minutes. And if you're working with a photographer who, who kind of thinks, I'm directing the whole show here, yeah. mm-hmm. you just need, and let them, great, and shoot behind them, beside them, and get your bits. But then you also might just like two or three shots that you do really want, you know, and I Absolutely. think you should be given that time. Five or ten minutes, I think. The, 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 the video I, guy should yeah. have. Where the photographer is over his shoulder. Shooting away. Yeah, exactly. We yeah, have yeah. a better chance. And of you know, shooting a lot of photographers yeah. like when yeah. the videographer. You know, I work with Takes some guys who like. Yeah, they kind of get to think then, right? I'm going to do this, or they, yeah. they think yeah. about their next pose. They're going to put them in, and it's just nice for them to get a little break. You yeah. know, and let the videographer do their thing that they're dying to do because they always have the photographer lens, go first. Other fixing lights. Yeah. Changing yeah. lens, fixing exactly. lights. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I very rarely have, have any videographers. You're one of the good guys, Richard. Caroline would have been one of the first that kind of said to me, "Look, can I get five? And I absolutely, absolutely, because I understand understand that like you guys need to get the content as well you need to get those shots as well and it's easier like that you said it gives me a break to try and figure out okay what can we do next you know it's it's not that we need them it in the, the, those it enhances shots enhances, our product. Yeah, it enhances yeah. the video it does because it, helps, cre- it, it no. helps create um the the feel and the emotion yeah. of the day itself the, exactly I mean, nothing shows off the dress more and i and i mean this in the best possible way richard in that the scene the dress being walked in. Yes. In other words, the yeah, shot of the bride yeah. walking yeah. in the dress. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, and um, I agree with you on that. And I, like, I think that one thing that I, I try to do with, say, with every wedding is, if, if there's a videographer on board, is to try and have a chat with them at the start. Say hello in the whole lot. Where are you going to be standing for this? And, all, and work out a plan together. Yeah. yeah. So we we'll know exactly. Because, each other. Yeah. It doesn't exactly always work out, but you start yeah. off that way. You start <laughs> off that way, exactly. <laughs> you know? It's worse when there's two or three of them. Yeah, but you're <laughs> you're, one, you're one of the good guys. With you. If there's two photographers, or even three, I've done weddings with three I have done wedding with three. I was like, and that oh, is here. extremely hard to get a, a shot without... Yeah. Some yeah. photographer in Absolutely. Yeah. I, I think that that's one 18 thing. Eighteen people on the altar, like there's yeah. too many. <laughs> I, I think that's one thing we do have to tackle in that. We'll say, you know, I understand from a videography point of view why you need possibly two videographers or, or have multiple cameras. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I honestly don't think there's a necessity to have two photographers on it, we'll say, on the altar or, or even for, for a lot of the day. There's certain times where a second shooter comes in very handy, but it's not as, as, uh, as vital as, we we'll say, for a video having that second angle a whole lot. And the great thing with say video as well is that, you know, you can have a camera set up 
and ready to go in different angles. Whereas mm-hmm. photographers can't really do that. You no. know? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of, it's both, kind of, it works both ways. Um, I suppose we'll say one area that myself and Mick are constantly, we we'll say, in battle over and over <laughs> is in battle. Um, it is that, we we'll say, getting that kind of access to the bride and groom, like so for certain shots where you're setting it up and all Every videographer, I have never had any problems with any videographers. So I don't, I don't understand this kind of conflict between videographers and photographers. because you're a nice guy. Well, <laughs> you know, if you like um, some, yeah, you know, you are graceful to work with and you, you know, you give, you know, a guy like when a photographer says, if you got your shot there, you cool. Yeah. Well, you know, and that's just really nice because you are working together and you yeah. both want to give the couple the best you can give them and you need to work well together. Yeah. You know? Well, one thing I've learned and I think it was Mick, kind of the first few weddings we did with Mick was to not literally just go Cross straight him. into <laughs> you're not going to cross them as well. Yeah. Um, not, to, you know, give the videographer, like, so if you've done a shot or whatever, not to go, okay, like, move on, you know, give you, give you time to get that you shot as well. You need the extra you know. couple of seconds yeah. to have a bit of pre-roll, a bit of post-roll, mm-hmm. and you're shot in the middle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you know? Have you guys any pet peeves or anything, pet hates about photographers that we can put out there, kind of saying, listen, guys, you know, because I saw one on Facebook recently, uh, I thought it was, I thought it was funny, but I, it probably wasn't funny for the videographer, but uh, it was a shot of the groom at the top of the altar, and he had a tear coming down his eyes and all, very emotional, and he panned across the bride and groom, you could just see the bride and groom just starting to come up the aisle, next minute the photographer stood out, halfway down the aisle, and started taking photographs, and it, it kind of ruined the moment, mm. and I think that's down to that photographer should have not communicating they definitely not communicate like, yeah. the I, I photographer and the videographer there yeah you know? exactly I suppose one, one, one I wouldn't have many pet hates but what does, and there's, there's a few money shots what I would call money shots yeah. That, yeah. that you need to get one Key of them shots. one of them is the rings of, is, is the most definite one yep. but the other one uh, where you might run into bother with a photographer is um, walking up and walking back down the aisle yes. so where the bride and whoever is giving her away or, or is at, at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the church and they're going, going the mass is about to start and they're walking up and here some you have some photographers bang in the way they yep. will follow the cup, the 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 the, uh, the, the bride, bride, the whole dead. way up, and really? they will be right in front away. of them. And at no stage can you get a shot. Can the videographer get a shot of the emotion that's on their face? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's are, horrendous. You, it's very long yeah. time since I've had that. I, I I've seen. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm very. Uh, that's somebody who Rare. doesn't have the right lenses and can't shoot right down and out. I, that's that's my only concept I, I to that. that. That doesn't yeah. make sense to me. Yeah. Because yeah, if yeah. they've right equipment and the whole lot, they yeah. should be able to stand next to the videographer. And get the same shot. And get the same shot. You know? yeah, yeah. And um, equally so, exactly. then you would have the same thing when, when, the, when the couple that are married are walking back down the aisle. They yeah. will walk right bang in front of them the whole way back down and like the, the videographer is trying to walk backwards and still watch the shot that he's getting yeah. and here the photographer's head is in the way. You know? Well, I, well, I, I, I would be the opposite there them. because I always <laughs> have this conversation with Mick in that we we'll say it's the videographer that normally suggests that, that they walk down in front of him. And I understand... The, the reasoning for that is because in this day and age we have so many people that are stepping out iPads. and they're ruining the shot. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with the iPads. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The grannies with the iPads or the aunties with the iPads, you know. Um, so I understand it, but is there, like we we'll say, again, it's the same thing uh, talking to the videographer. I always talk to the videographer and that's one of the questions I'll ask him. Are you going walking down in front of the body or are you going to the back of the church? You know, so it, it's, it's something that you just have to talk about. Talk, yeah, one, one of the areas I, tr- I, I, I hope to get every time the couple come down the aisle is when they come out of the church or out of the venue, out mm. when they're at the bottom of the aisle, yeah. that the photographer just holds off for an extra 10 or 15 seconds so that we can get the final shot of them coming out. The yeah. couple don't have to do, woo, this crack or nothing. Mm. If they don't want it, that's fine. But just so that they can come out of the church and hold for a couple of seconds until we fade or we cut into or whatever. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. then the photographer can pose can them all they want yeah. while we get set up for the receiving. Well, that, that's but the it's just, you, it doesn't always happen that way. Happen. You it just does. have to kind of go with whatever you happens. You have to go with the flow. There's no point in like, stand, having a stand-up argument and there. No, 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 no. And you can't have this shot in your head that you have to go. No, no, no. Because it's not a key shot. No, 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 no. You know. So, but I think I think the one point that you have there, Mick, and I understand where you're coming from, is that the those shots can be recreated for a photographer? Yes, they can yeah. be for video. They can yeah. be for video. So that's the, yeah. that was the yeah. point yeah. I was trying to like, make. And even okay. with the rings as well, Michael, like to say, I I generally, if if there's, there's enough people around the bride and groom for the the vows and stuff like that, I'll generally take a step back and I'll try and get more of their faces and the emotion mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. 
because I can always recreate the rings afterwards. Can you do a close-up? You guys up. can't. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. Well, we, well, we can. We can, but not to the same effect. Not to the same yeah. effect. No, not no, to the same no. effect. Yeah. Comment coming in there from Jerry Duffy. He says, the one, one request that he asks all photographers or would like to ask photographers is to turn off the sound of their shutter. Oh. As, <laughs> yes. You know, it's, he says it saves a ton of time when editing that we don't have to remove Absolutely. those horrible machine gun noise. Machine gun. There should be no need for that anymore. But you can turn them down. Yeah. Can you turn them off? It depends on the camera. Depends so if right. you have yeah. the, the latest, we we'll say, I, well, uh, the 5D3, is 5D2, 3, 4, yeah. they all have silent shutters. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually think it's still quiet, or still loud. Because I can hear it so close. I'm always thinking, oh, God, is he going to pick yeah, that up? Yeah. I, I've, done, I've done weddings where the, the, the celebrant or the priest has turned around yes. and pulled the photographer. Absolutely. On, yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I don't blame I'm him. being too loud. Because the whole idea is the, the photographer is supposed to be incognito. The video, it's a lot harder for you guys because, you know, you have a, a camera. No, I disagree. It's, I think it's a lot easier for us to be. Really? Oh, yeah. So we, where did we, you go wrong? You know, we, we you know, <laughs> set up in a monopod or a tripod, we're 15, 25 feet away and we're zoomed in. Yeah. You know, on, on, on Auntie Mary or, or Mammy or the bride and groom or whom, mm. whomever. Uh, and we're not there going click, click. Yeah. So in a way, it's easier for us to get our shot at certain times of the day yeah, than it is for a photographer. Yeah. No, no, and I agree with you on that. I um, would say from the, the, the photography point of view, there's not, I, I, I don't, like I said, I don't see there's a, a big conflict with the video and it's down to communication with the videographer and the photographer. Yeah. Regarding the directing of the day, I don't think either should be directed. No, I don't. No, I, mean? so I think that's something that some videographers, they feel like they should be directing the day of the I tend to find that most don't, yeah. you know, but there's this concept there where people feel like they're... I, do, I, I, do, find, I do find that the photographer is the master of the clock, though. Yes. You know, in oh, that... Oh, yeah, absolutely. You, you know, it's, it's half past four now. Guys, we got to get back into we the do. hotel. Yeah, because, yeah. Because, you know, you want to get time with your guests or whatever, yeah. and the hotel will be calling at five o'clock. Yeah. Or it's ten to one, you know, and, and you're not putting on your to, dress. Yeah. yeah, and it's up to the photographer to guide them along that way. Yeah. I think. And it's a gentle a nudge, a gentle wind. guide, you yeah. know. Yeah. So and that, it's a gentle guide. Yeah. And just yeah. to be, but it uh, every wedding, I have a timeline for every wedding, for every couple, they know, and, and I go through with them beforehand, yeah. so they know at half eleven, that's the time to get into dress and all that. Mm -hmm. It's something that actually I've started sending that to the videographers as well, so they know that we're kind of on the same time. But it's just a guesstimate. It's yeah, just yeah, like, it, it, mightn't, it mightn't stay on time, it might go off. Yeah. But it's up to the videographers to talk to the photographer to say, listen, I might need another five minutes here. I would love, yeah. one thing I would love videographers to do is when I'm doing the family photographs, so I normally take family photographs in the church, mm -hmm. and I need five minutes just to take down the lights and the whole lot and get out to the car before they leave. That's a perfect opportunity that a videographer can listen, say, listen, I'll take the two for a second and I'll take them for five minutes and do some shots in the church if they want or anything. I would always, always look out for the photographer, whether it be when he goes upstairs or she goes upstairs yeah. to get a group shot or like that when they're taking down the lights or if the bride and groom arrive or if the bride arrives and the photographer's at the top of the yes. aisle yeah. taking yeah. pictures yeah. of the yeah. put on there with yeah. yeah. your photographer comes yeah. out because yeah. yeah. he'd want to get a shot at, I'd always yeah. look out mm -hmm. for the photographer yeah. 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 So always, always, yeah. always and always yeah. good, good, good okay. I, think we're, I think that was quite peaceful yeah? we're all perfect <laughs> <laughs> that was good that was good Mick, have you any more comments or anything on social um, media? I do um, Mark is after, after coming in it, uh, one of his pet hits is the use of the overuse of flash Photography. Mm. Does it? Uh, well, that's the question. Like, I, I have some videographers who said to me, "Please don't use flash." And then I've other videographers. I've asked them, and they've said, "Oh no, you're fine." You know. So, what is it in 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 essence? We say, is the flash? What's the problem with the flash? Talk on to me here now. On, Tell a, me. on a video, it'll show up on it half just, the screen. All oh, right. Okay. It flashes through overexposed, the and then okay. it'll go to the bottom. Mm. So you have this effect. Okay. For this depending on depending on where the flash is coming from. Um, if you're doing family shots mm -hmm. on the altar, the reason we look for the extra couple of seconds is when you're yeah, not flashing, flash. we get a couple of seconds. Hence, a okay. couple of seconds pre-roll or shot and a couple of seconds post-roll. Flash away all you, all you want before and after, but we need the 10 seconds to get the shot. Yeah. The rest of the day, you, if you need to use flash, you need to use flash. Not as, not as important. It doesn't affect us as much then, because yeah. we're hitting from different angles. Yeah, shoot exactly. and move, shoot and move, yeah. do you know what I mean? But I would never say to a photographer, can you please not use flash? No, I would no. never say, because you've oh, got to do your I've job had, as well. I've had a few. But what I would, yeah. what I would uh, ask is no. that, you know, just give me you 10 think, seconds, just yeah. an extra 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, th I think that's reasonable. You know. I, think, I think we say, like, it comes back to the photographer 
being aware of the videographer as mm. well, not yeah. literally going, right, other. come on, we're going, you know, and moving on quickly. Yeah. Giving you that extra, uh, you know, That's 10, 15 drives. seconds. That, that is my pet hate yeah. when you're working with a photographer who just thinks they don't need, you know, they just forget about you, you yeah. know, they kind of forget yeah. that you, you're you still on that shot or I'm your here. track is only starting <laughs> and you need to go the rest of the way. Do you know, it's yeah. like, you just need... Okay, so we say the, the bride and groom, they've booked you in the whole lot and everything and you're kind of, before the wedding, you're kind of meeting up the whole lot. What kind of information do you guys need from the, from the couple? Like, we'll say, for example, time of speeches, things like that, or... Time of speeches, uh, before, during, after the meal. Yeah. Yeah. Any, other, any other surprises? Any other surprises? Okay, any so, special so things? So define surprises, because we had this discussion yeah, before yeah. about surprises. So. I had a, we had a couple in today, we're doing their wedding on Sunday, I says... Is there any surprises? Have you any magicians? Yes. Singing waiters, that type of thing. Oh, no, no, everything's gone. And that, whatever the conversation went, says, and my sister is singing in the middle of the oh. ceremony. And I'm, oh. That's a, that's surprise. That's a surprise. Yeah. 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 You know. Well, I actually always ask couples, who's singing? Is yeah. it someone you've hired yeah. in or is yeah. it friends and family? I always ask because... Because I've been caught before yeah. where, you know, you kind of go, oh, I don't really need that. And then you find out it's an auntie singing and they're yeah. like, oh, yeah. where's that song? My auntie song, you know, so I always ask anymore who's singing because yeah. it is important to get. So surprise, yeah, we don't like surprises. Well, no, we surprises, like surprises. Like we all know that the format of a wedding, we've been yeah. to enough weddings to know yeah. format. But like stuff like magicians, helicopters, um, uh, fireworks. Shark dogs, you know, horses, <laughs> anything, whatever. Anything different or special to the bride and groom, like the music. The music is, like as you say, is very yeah. important. I like the wedding yeah. there lately where the father of the bride got up and sang in the altar on, wow. in, on the altar after the wedding and that was lovely he sang it he met he wrote, wrote penned a song especially for the bride oh, it was lovely cool. lovely cool. but she had and told also me that good to know is i always i always like to know families you know different brothers and sisters you know so that you know you kind of have an idea of how many kids are going to be mm. there and who's special and what ages are they yeah. and just an idea of okay. and i always ask is there grandparents coming because i always yeah. capture grandparents yes Yes. And um, that goes back to the parents. Content. Are parents together? I think are parents the there? Same, uh, I yeah. always ask, you know, yeah. are both yeah. parents going to be present? Absolutely, yeah. And are they, are they together? Are they so present? it's about having your information before and making yeah. sure yeah. that you know all the details of the yeah. wedding. There's no you surprises. just need a nice yeah. little, uh, just a gentle background on the, on the couple, the, you know, a little. The time of the speeches, I think, is a very important one to point out. Oh, yeah. Because speech, like, there can be, they can be afterwards, there can be beforehand. And in either, the middle way, or, yeah. either way, either before or after, it kind of causes no problems. It's when they're during the yeah. meal that it causes a problem. It causes problems for everybody. For everybody. Hotel and everybody. It's it's also and, and splitting them up. Sp oh, splitting two them up. before yes. and two yeah, at the end. Exactly. Oh, that's yeah. a killer. Yeah. That's and it's easy. also very important that, the, that either the hotel or the best man goes and finds the videographer and finds the photographers before they start speeches. Before they start speeches. Well, you, well you have to we set up your audio. Like, yeah, you need 10 exactly. minutes to, so you need to time set up to be ready to go. Speaking of time, we're running out of time. We've, we've been uh, talking an awful lot. So, right, okay. so we're going to... Pizza's here, I think. We've, yeah, I think it's here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to top tips. So one thing we've done every week is kind of given a top oh, yeah. tip out there. So who wants to go first? Brides, don't get your makeup done last. Ever. Excellent. I, ex oh, second. Yes, completely second, agree with that. Second, third, never last. Maybe first, ideally first, <laughs> yeah. actually. Um, and watch out for those times as well. So, like we'll say, it's the one thing that can delay the day. If the, yeah, the well, if the bride goes last, it's just a disaster. It sets yeah. everything back. Mm -hmm. I always find... Well, Plus as well, we can't do much until they have the makeup done. Yeah, we can't do anything. Yeah. But like, well, do you know, until, you know they, they, until they're in, to get them into the dress. Yeah. And... Yeah, it's just better. Absolutely. <laughs> I think um, if if, you, if if there's any viewers out out there that are in doubt about getting a videographer, um, I think if you have any any worries uh, or any doubts about it, just go to a videographer, discuss your discuss your worries about that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you think that the photographer the videographer is going to be following you around all day. Maybe you think they're going to be using big lights or whatever. Go and discuss it with them, and they will they will put your mind at rest. So yeah. I think that's. Get a video. Yeah. That's my. That's yeah, absolutely. My yeah, I, so I, I absolutely agree with you. You know, it's it's it is really important. It's as important as the photos. It is as important as photos. Come on, Richard. <laughs> Michael. My Michael top D. tip. Um, I would say to all couples out there, if they're introducing us, that they introduce us as this is Michael or our cameraman for the day, mm -hmm. as in, you know, that, and, and give Create us a that wave, personal connection, or give yeah. us a smile or a wink if they're there with one of their guests, you know, wave to the camera, give a wave. Yeah, yeah. Because in 30 years' time, mm -hmm. when, they, when they see their best friend or one of their friends from mm -hmm. work waving at them back on the screen, it'll just make, make it that a little bit more yeah. special. I, yeah, I, kinda, I agree with you. I think people get 
uh, I won't say the word embarrassed, but uh, you know they get kind of shy in front of a camera, especially a video. It's the fastest way to get rid of a video man, by the way. <laughs> it's <is> to <laughs> wave at the camera. Yeah, because, that should because, be because, very because true. then he has no it. more yeah. use for you, or yeah. she has no that's more it. use. You, you wave at the camera, there's a shot. Oh, so well, move on. on to the next. Do you know what I mean? But that's why I wouldn't use that shot. Would you not? No, some, well, sometimes I will and sometimes I won't. Depends, it means yeah. it means if 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 I'm being waved at, it means I've been noticed. And I don't want to be noticed on the ah, video. Ah, no, some, well, sometimes. It's sometimes, sometimes it's buzzy. Yeah. It depends on the video. Yeah, it depends, it depends on the circumstances. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You know, yeah. Not talking about a big wave and a flare. <laughs> you know, just, you know. But the top, top dip, just quickly, is to enjoy the day and don't Absolutely, worry about the time. Yeah. We'll look yeah. after the time yeah. for you. We'll yeah. guide you on time. Um, just enjoy the day because yeah. it's gone so quickly and that's why we're there yes. so you can look back on it very good um, okay yeah. so that's it for another episode uh, thank you to our guests Caroline and Michael F and Michael D um, guys tell us how our audience can get in touch with you uh, Caroline yourself uh, our website is pinklimevideos.ie so you can email or call me for a chat and ask any questions Michael I'm based in Ruski County Roscommon and uh, freeandweddings.com I'm on uh, website and uh, Facebook Facebook as well. Well. Very good. and Michael the video guys you can reach me here video guys you can if you reach don't me know there. You'll, you'll, find reach me. Me you'll find me you'll find me the video guys Everywhere. <laughs> very good okay so, well thanks a million guys thanks for joining us uh, thanks as always to Brian McDermott for producing the show and to you at home for joining us. Uh, we'll be monitoring the comments uh, for another half an hour or so off air. So feel free to continue uh, the conversation. Thank if you you're, guys. if you're a wedding, if you're a wedding service, I have a load of other stuff. So this could take a minute. Or so. oh, okay. <laughs> uh, if you're a wedding service provider and would like to get involved in discussions, simply get in touch and we'll try to schedule a date for you, for you to join us. Thanks again for watching. If you've missed earlier shows, they're all online on the YouTube channel. Just search for My Wedding Store and you'll be able to see all the previous episodes. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the show and found it beneficial. Again, feedback welcomed. Just be gentle. Until next Wednesday, 8.30pm. Good night and thanks for watching.